Okay, so in this game, I path top. I look at my bot lane, they're very low. I'm assuming Kane is gonna dive them, so I just walk towards bot lane, but he's mid, so. Okay, here. I wanna gank mid. I'm not sure if it's worth it or not, so I start recalling because I'm assuming it's worth it. But when I see Vladimir going towards like the boss side of the river, right? Look at this. For one second, he's gonna walk towards me. Okay, now I know he's not worth it. I just W him. At Q, I don't wait for charm because if I wait for charm, there's no way he dies. I miss my Q, but it's okay. I know he's gonna die with one auto attack. And now, very important, look at this. Auto attack, E auto attack. Your E is an auto attack reset. If I didn't use that mechanic there, I would have died. Some people would have just QE'd immediately. But no. Q, auto attack, E, auto attack. Very important. Now he died. Now the wave is in the middle of the lane. So I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to do anything about it. It looks like it's pushing to us. And it is pushing to us. Thank God. Now I always buy Sorcerer Boots and Dark Seal my first recall. And I go back to my bot side because it's respawning. So while I was doing my raptors, my mid laner died, and very important, if you're next to a lane and the lane died, try to cash every single minion. Now let's look at how I cash this minion wave. Perfectly done. Not a single minion missed. Learn from this. Very important. Wow, how satisfying. Thumbs up. Now, we just full cleared, we go bot, we try to kill Nami, my thought process was, if I try to go on them, I gotta go fast, I can't be patient, sadly I was too patient, she had time to use her heal, my bad, maybe if I comboed faster it would have worked, anyways, we kinda knew Kane was bot side, but we still forced a play, now let's look at how I play the situation, okay? I need them to go on Warwick first, if they go on me, I'm gonna die, so I wait at the last second, the second he starts thinking through it, I go in, now, I don't combo immediately. I only combo the person that's tanking the turret. Now, I know Ken has flash and can flash away. So, I think, okay, hopefully I can get JSW to target me. And the second JSW attacks me, he's gonna tank the turret and he's gonna die. Which is exactly what happened. Now, Lucian comes. I might range to help him. But I wanna make sure he doesn't die. So, I, I slow with the WQ. I try to slow him. Suddenly, he still dies. And I dodge Kog'Maw my ult with my E. Wow, perfect. And Talia gets the kill. Two kills, perfect. And immediately after, I go back to take my farm. I don't, I don't waste time. I don't waste time uh, doing uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Staying bot, staying mid. No, no, no. Immediately after a fight, you go back to farming. Immediately. Now, as we are pathing towards top side, I go to take the skull crab, and I see Jace take the air plant. I'm like, wait, what? Is Chase here? Okay, let's play this slow. Wait for my E to come back, my E comes back, okay. I Q him. Now, I don't go in immediately because his E can cancel my E. So I make sure that I can land my abilities, which I don't land, but he goes back in and he dies anyways. Now, if you think, what is he doing? Wow, is this is this silver? No, this is Grandmaster and this is the players in Grandmaster. People in your ELO will do the same mistakes and even worse. But you have to realize that you need to be patient to allow them to make mistakes. I know I go top because I'm assuming, okay, I'm assuming Kane is gonna go top, and let's see if he comes top. Well, he wasn't top. Instead, he killed my mid laner. So, I'm just gonna do Herald. Because that way we put pressure. And where do we put pressure? Now, we could just put it bot. But I see Jace come back top, and I'm like, wait. I have ult, and I don't want to recall before using my ult. So, I'm gonna take Herald, and hopefully kill Jace top lane. Now, let's see how this works out. Okay, first of all, it was pinked, so that sucks, but that's not scaring me away. I spent pink so my Tristana stops her recall, which, thank god she did. Now, step number two, we go invisible, and we go into the lane. We see if he's still under turret. He's not under turret, perfect. Steal the wave, put the herald, we see where he is now. JSQ is hacking, whatever, and he's staying under turret, so we just dive him. Honestly, what is Jace doing? I don't know, classic Jace player. King comes, immediately flash away. We don't risk anything and thank god we lived because we have a big bounty and we don't want to give it to Kane. Now even though I've been helping my team all game, they somehow keep getting dove even if they have Gale Force, Flash or whatever. I see Kane going to my Raptors, I'm like, yo, what are you doing? You don't have ult. So I combo him, takes my Raptor, 
and I kill him. Okay, thanks for the bounty, bro. Sure. Now, nothing's been happening for like the past like five minutes, so I just skipped it. I did Herald, that's something I did. I'm looking for a pick mid, which when, she, when he approaches, I just go in, I combo. Which I know it seems stupid, but I know Lucian has the damage. I know Lucian has the damage, I just need to put him half HP, because Lucian is a very good burst champion. So I put him half HP, whatever, I got exhausted, they heal, whatever. Now they have no sums and no flash both. Perfect. Good job, Lucian. Finally, someone is doing their job. This Tristana Badu has been trolling this entire game. Now she's top lane, she just died to the turret. What is she doing? Trolling. Warwick is going top now because he was playing bot lane all game because Tristana was split pushing top. I don't know what he's doing. Anyways, we have our entire team muted. We don't talk to noobs. Very important, don't talk to noobs. Okay, here I see Kog'Maw and Nami overextending. My work is coming. I Q Nami, but the minion blocks it, sadly, which whatever, that sucks. I dodge normally. I don't use my ult yet. I make sure to Warwick fears him first, and then I go in. Just play with maximum range. They focus me so hard, they exhaust me, everything on me. So which Warwick, you just go in and one-shot them both, which is perfect. And now they're both dead, and Vladimir is bot with no TP. I'm like, okay, I guess we go Baron. Okay, we got Baron. We're sitting bot. We got flanked by Kane. Talia did not attack him, so he stayed into the, into the wall. That's her misplay. My ult misses somehow, even though like usually that hits. Whatever. As long as I don't die, my team can still push. And also, this Rosanna is still trolling. She's not grouping. But whatever, at least now her troll is actually working out for us. She's split pushing mid. Perfect. Now, I see them both recalling here, and I don't want them to recall. So instead, I just W them from afar to cancel the recall without doing anything. I just stop the wave and W them from afar. And I'm like, you know what? I think Vladimir is still there. So I walk next to the bush. Oh, he's still there. Okay. And he forgets to W. I don't know. He just dies. Bye-bye. <laughs> Shortly after, we just go mid. Because why not? You know, just group mid. If you want to end, just group mid. Especially going invisible and seeing targets are AFK like this. I combo him, he exhausts me, doesn't matter. Every late game, you can exhaust me all you want, you can cry all you want, I'm still gonna one-shot you. Fair enough. Now, let's give Kog'Maw a burial while we're dancing on him. And while Talia also just killed Nami shortly after, so thank you Talia. Now, here we're supposed to siege the turret, but this Warbreak like took some crack cocaine and just goes in 1v5. I'm like, dude, please get the turret. So he dies for no reason, we're still pushing the turret. Now Evelyn early game, baby shark do 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 right? Evelyn late game, big shark, one shot Kog'Ma, dodge cane combo, perfectly played. Nami, get out of here, stop being so close, flash Jace Q, tell ya, please attack Kane, please attack Kane, attack the Kane, please stun Kane. Sadly she used her ability on someone else, and so Kane did not get hit so he could go into the wall and attack me. But anyways, it was funny, so it's worth whatever. You know, we take those. We tilt the enemy team, kill them in their base. Worth. I'll take it. Now, here, we just got Baron. I skipped a bit because we don't really care. I'm flanking like a god flank, god flank, god flank. I doubled the wrong person. I'm supposed to double Vladimir. Whatever, who cares? Uh, Jace got one shot. Bye bye, Jace. Vladimir ults me for poke? Question mark. Vla uh, Warwick is ending the game in the base, and I know Vladimir is, is, is here. Look how patient I am! Patience, patience! I queue him, I know he's here. Okay, I'm waiting for my trinket to come back. When my trinket comes back, trinket, W, immediately. Okay, 3, 2, 1, Q. I should've known he had rocket belt, whatever. I missed my Q, she dies. She doesn't die, I one-shot Vladimir, we both live. Warwick is in the base, he ends the game. Good job, Warwick, I love you. Good job, guys, good job, guys. Teamwork, make it team dreamwork! Anyways, Twitch.tv, Anthony Evelyn, please follow me. Thank you. See you there.